Hello guys, in this video, I'd love to help you understand the meaning, purpose, and usage of the repository annotation in Spring Framework with some code examples. I am Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. You know, the repository annotation is a class level annotation. That means it must be used at class level only. And the semantic purpose of using the repository annotation is to indicate that the annotated class has a repository. And you know, a repository class should implement code relates to persistent layer or DIO, data access objects of a specific domain. Uh, for example, a user repository class encapsulates storage, retrieval, and search behavior of a collection of user objects and the technical purpose of using the repository annotation is that the annotated class will be auto detected through class path scanning by Spring Framework and Spring will create an instance of the class which is then managed in the application context the instance is called managed bin and the managed bin will be eligible for dependency injection such as via auto wire fuel or constructor injection and if spring data is used the annotated class is eligible for spring exception translation that automatically translates native resource exceptions uh, such as jdbc exceptions to spring's data access exception hierarchy now let me show you some code examples of using the repository annotation in Spring Framework. So I have a Java Spring project in Spring Tool Suite IDE, and uh, say we have a domain a model class or entity class user that has two fields ID and name, and of course we have getters and setters and also i override the methods to string as code and equals and for the persistent layer i define an interface based dao for generic type t like this and this interface defines three operations save get and file and this is a concrete implementation of the base DIO class, the user repository class that implements base DIO for the type user. And you can see we use the repository annotation here. This annotation comes from this package. Okay, and then uh, we need to uh, override the methods defined in the base DIO class, DIO interface, save, get, and file. And for the sake of demo, I used a map here to store user objects in form of keys and values. Keys are user IDs and values are user objects. Okay, and because we use the repository annotation here, uh, this class uh, has the role of a repository or DAO in the application. And also, uh, we can uh, use the auto wire annotation in another component, such as in the user service class, to let Spring Framework inject the managed bin of the user repository into a bin of this user service class. And you can see we uh, call the method file of the user repository here. And this is a simple test uh, program. Uh, which uh, scans for the package net.codejava uh, to load the annotated classes and we get a bin named user repository from the application context and cast the type to user repository you know by default spring we give the class the name user repository and then uh, with this bin, we can invoke its methods such as step to proceed to user objects and file to retrieve uh, all user objects. 
and then for each user we call system uh, dot out dot print line method to print the details of each user object in the list collection all right make sense now let me run this application and you see it works it uh, prints the details of two user objects id1 and id2 exactly as uh, shown in the code here so uh, that's the an example of using the repository annotation in Spring Framework as you can see here so you will have understood the meaning purpose and uses of the repository annotation in Spring Framework I ho hope you found this video helpful Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.